what's up y'all welcome to epiphany tarot i am here to do another reading we gonna tap in with libra gang period libra what's good what is going on libra okay we gonna tap in and see what's going on with you okay please like share subscribe comment all that good shit all right libra i'm gonna show you the card that i got it says the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So this card, this card is a positive omen. This card can speak to like just standing on business, like stand on your shit, Libra. Like whatever it is that you want to plan, whatever it is that you want to do, your goals, your dreams, whatever it is you want to go for, you can do it. But it might require a little bit more elbow grease, but you got it though. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this is that you want to accomplish, it can definitely be done. But like I said, faith without works is dead so whatever this is that you're reaching for dreaming for you can accomplish this shit you just gonna have to go a little bit harder like are you ready to do that libra like are you or, or are you not you know what i'm saying but the energy is gaining momentum this can be a card of like somebody could be doing work too um because today is the full moon so somebody could be doing um some work under this full moon if you are i feel like it's the energy is gaining momentum whatever you're doing is working period so let's see what's going on here for libra what's the message for libra oh shit this is what flipped over. It said firestorm. It says karma, drama, endings, loss, and mental breakdown. Damn, Libra, what's going on here? So if this is a return to sender, woo child. Okay. Look, whoever you sending this shit to, Libra. Mm-mm-mm. It says endings, loss, mental breakdown, karma, and drama. Okay. It's gonna hit somebody like Ooh wee. Like somebody's not gonna expect some shit to hit this hard, like real shit. Or shit. This could be you could already did this return to sender and it's already hitting their ass hella hard. But let's see. This is bisexual. It says unsure of unsure of sexuality, secrets in the closet on the DL. Wow. Libra. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it says mixed signals. Oh, shit. What the trap? Baby trap in here? Somebody poking holes in condoms and shit? So somebody could have trapped somebody? Yeah, it says telepathic communication. I feel like somebody is, like, obsessively trying to, like, reach out to you, like, in the 5D. It's like somebody is, like... Like, imagine somebody, like, in your dream state, like, screaming your name at the top of their lungs is, like, what spirit is showing me. It is, like, somebody who needs your attention, needs your help, like, really, really, really fucking bad. Like, I'm talking about they using the shit out of this telepathic communication. Yeah, look at this. It says guilt, embarrassed, in the wrong, and ashamed. Ooh, woo. Yeah, so somebody's embarrassed here. They're embarrassed of what they did. They're embarrassed about giving you mixed signals. I feel like somebody could have baby trapped this person. Like a bitch tricked them into having a baby or having another kid. This person could be experiencing a lot of loss and endings right now. They could be having a mental breakdown. It says firestorm here, karma and drama. So it's a lot of karma. It's a lot of drama around this person. But I feel like it's a result. It's like karma for them giving you mixed, 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 mixed signals. So I don't know if you did a return to sender on this motherfucker or what. Or you're exposing this person or... You could be speaking your truth, and it's like somebody's like embarrassed and feeling guilty because they know they were in the wrong. They're in sh they're ashamed. This is like that five of swords reverse um, energy. This definitely could be a man. 
Like this could be somebody who's down low and unsure of their sexuality or they could have had an experience with the same sex. So now they're confused. You know what I'm saying? This could be like somebody who did something. You know what I'm saying? Like this could have been somebody who did something while they were under the influence. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it probably don't even have to be that deep. You know what I'm saying? This could have been somebody who like got a little too drunk and then like they kissed another man or they kissed another woman. So now this person's all confused. Like, well, am I gay or am I not gay? Like, it could be something like that. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this person definitely did something to you or this is you. Yeah, bottom of the deck. Look at that. I told you something spinning a block on a motherfucker. Woo woo. Karma is a motherfucker. Okay. Somebody should have stopped playing with you, Libra. Or this was your ass fucking with somebody. But let's see here, Libra. What's the message is here? I feel like somebody's going through it. They haven't look my voice trying to go on and shit. Oh hell no. Yeah, somebody, um, they're having mental breakdowns. Like I said, it's a lot of loss and endings around this person. A lot of drama. Definitely a lot of karma. And I feel like this person is, like, screaming at you, like, in, in, the, in the 5D. Like, this person is trying to reach out to you so bad, man. It's like they need your help or they want you to come save them or something. You could have seen this person in your dream state recently. Let's see. What's the message here for Libra? We got the seven of wands reverse. So this is definitely embarrassment. Okay. Like seven of wands reverse. This is somebody who they failed to like keep something going here. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't rise to the occasion. It's like they started something or they stirred something up and they, they weren't strong enough to keep it going. This is somebody who's not spiritually protected. This is somebody who gives up or folds easily or they're surrendering to a situation because they this this could be somebody so like i said this is somebody the seven of wands reverse is somebody who's not spiritually protected so if this person was doing all this weird shit to you it's like how you gonna do all this shit to somebody and you're not even protected yourself so now that the energy is coming back around like they don't have no way to stop it or block it or nothing so it's like they're having to surrender they're having to admit defeat they're having to slow down or yield or i don't know if this is somebody who's trying to attack you but i feel like you sent this shit back to this motherfucker and it's basically this person's having to they're having to surrender it's like they they thought they were attacking you and sending you something like no nah, whatever you're sending back to them has this person folding on their beliefs they're losing control they're losing power they're losing respect. This person is tired and exhausted. Like they can't keep something up here. Whatever they were trying to send to you or send towards you or whatever they were doing, they're not strong enough to keep that shit going. Like it, it's backfiring on them. Seven of Wands here. Ooh, we. I feel like this uh, this return to sender that hit this motherfucker and knocked their ass to uh, like. I'm talking about this is like Mike Tyson knocking your ass out. <laughs> like in the last round of the boxing ring. Somebody here could be a boxer, Libra. But yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's been trying to attack you for a long time and it's just not working. This person is tired. They're exhausted. They're embarrassed. It's just like they have to give up. They have to surrender. But I feel like this is somebody who folded on you, Libra. Like, I feel like at first this person, you and this person may have rocked. Like, y'all used to rock together or support one another or some, or protect one another or something once upon a time. But something happened here where this person chose to go against you. And now it's like backfiring on them. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person is stressed the fuck out. Okay, the Ten of Wands. This is a heavy burden. This is just like, 
something is a grueling experience you know this person has accumulated a lot of baggage or this is they're carrying guilt here with this ten of wands it's like they're they got a lot on their shoulders or they're trying to deal with a lot here i feel like they're trying to stay strong until they make it to the next place or their next destination but i don't know it's like something here is really heavy on them all this guilt this shame this embarrassment is really heavy on this person but, I mean, that's their fault. You shouldn't have never been doing what the fuck you were doing. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, four of wands here. Yeah, there's something going on with this person's stability with the four of wands here. This could be something in regards to a twin flame, something here. Could be with a fire sign, possibly an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. But, yeah, there's some type of instability in a home. There's a lot of fighting and arguing inside a residence or a house or something here. There could be a divorce or a breakup or a separation or somebody's getting kicked out or evicted. You know, somebody like the four of wands reverse. That's like something going on with your foundation. Like meaning somebody may be getting kicked out or they have to move out. They have to leave. And it's like this person stressed out. They don't know where they're going to go. They're embarrassed, too embarrassed to ask for help or something. Yeah, page of cups reverse. Yep, this is somebody very childish. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Page of cups reverse is like very childish, um, very envious, very obsessive. This could be somebody with like childhood trauma. It's like they refuse to grow up. This person is a liar. It's like they're very envious, very jealous. It's like somebody here is like they act like a kid. This could even be somebody who suffered some sort of childhood abuse. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who didn't lost respect in the community, being a clout chaser. They have a bad reputation. It's like they're known to be jealous or to fuck people over or something with this person. Like when people mention this person's name, it's like people be like, nah, I don't fuck with them or I don't fuck with her or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> But the page of cups reverse is somebody very childish, somebody who needs inner child healing. Okay, it's it could be something from their childhood, which is why they behave this way. It could be sexual abuse, or shit. It could be lack of love. They grew up in a household where they didn't get enough love, affection, or attention. It's like somebody here is so fucking childish, bro. But they've got themselves this childish ass behavior, and got themselves they didn't got themselves into some shit, boy. Okay, let's see here. Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who didn't lost power, control, and respect. All right, so seven of wands here. This could be somebody with mental health issues. Yeah, the high priestess reverse. Mm -hmm. High priestess reverse. Could be a Pisces here. If it's a Pisces, I feel like it's a low vibing one. Like the high priestess reverse is somebody who can't be trusted. It's like somebody's very like two faced, very manipulative. Somebody who likes to like play on your psyche and shit, get you to believe shit that didn't happen, or you know what I'm saying, or even somebody who be who could be doing spell work on your ass. That's why I said somebody's trying to do spell work on you. That shit did not work. It backfired. And you're if you're doing work or you're doing return to senders, especially under this full moon, or this shit, or if you already did it, like this shit is finna smack somebody like upside the head, like nobody's business. Okay. The high priestess reverse. Somebody is just fake as fuck. They're a liar. They be having like loud outbursts or they feel embarrassed or this person's secrets is coming out. But like I said, the high priestess reverse could be a mistress. So this person could have like a secret child or something here. Uh, they could have had a baby with this high priestess reverse. They were trying to keep a secret. But I feel like the secret is out though. How is this high priestess reverse? I thought like this could definitely be a Pisces with mental health issues.
Yeah, because somebody here is crazy, I'm telling you, because baby trap here. It's a weird ass bitch out here who's trying to baby trap a man. Whoever this bitch is, she plays in spell work or she's a weirdo. Definitely a karmic or she plays in divination. She plays in magic. She could be a reader, but not a very good one with the high priestess reverse either. She uses her gifts for the, she abuses her spiritual gifts or her spiritual gifts have been cut off. So I don't know why is the high priestess here. Yeah, she could be embarrassed or something here. What the fuck is this? Or this is somebody's um side bitch that's like embarrassed. Yeah, three of cups here. But I feel like it's like this person is like having a mental breakdown or losing a lot. This karma is turning their ass up, but it's like this person is trying to play it off like like they're fine like they're still celebrating and having a good time here it's like or this person is still trying to date with the high priestess and the three of cups or this could be like a group of friends with the three of cups here but they could be trying to reconcile with somebody this high priestess reverse seven of wands reverse person why is the three of cups here Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse. Who is these hoes? What the fuck? It's two water sign bitches out here, or this is just one at one Pisces, or it could be like a Pisces and a Cancer, or a Pisces and a Scorpio, or a Pisces and another Pisces. Like what the fuck? Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody here is hella manipulative, emotionally unstable. This bitch is manipulative. It's for somebody here is super fucking manipulative. High Priestess Reverse and the Queen of Cups Reverse. This bitch is emotionally unstable, overly sensitive, jealous, vindictive. She likes to play victim. She could be a drunk. Like, this bitch is crazy. Like, real shit. But she could be he or she could be steady turning up with the Three of Cups, steady going out, just, just doing too much. Like... She could be this bitch who got pregnant on purpose. She could have poked a hole in a condom with this masculine. I mean, I don't see a masculine energy out here yet unless this high priestess is a man or something. I don't know, but there's definitely a water sign out here who's on some other shit. Why is the queen of cups reverse here? Somebody is hella emotionally unstable. I feel like they're having loud outbursts. They're yelling and screaming or... They're revealing secrets and shit. It's like something somebody here is tripping because this karma is beating up on their ass like Zab Judah. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Cups? You know, somebody likes boxing. I don't know. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. Look, this is a group of hoes. I don't know if these bitches are trying to do work on you or if this is all the same person. Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, High Priestess reverse. It's like a bitch who was doing spell work on you. That shit is being returned to her. And the bitch is like, she's like losing her mind, but trying to act like everything is fine. Three of cups. Or they're trying to group together to do this work on you tonight. I don't know. Queen of Wands reverses the dark witch. The high priestess reverses the dark high priestess. The queen of cups reverse. It's like all these bitches are dumb though. Like bitch, you a crybaby. You a hoe. Queen of Wands reverse. Like bitch, you're very jealous. Always stirring up shit. Being shady. Being messy. You a punk ass hoe. How's the Queen of Wands reverse? I don't know who these bitches are. I don't know if they're grouping together because they don't like you with the Three of Cups or what these bitches are doing. It's weird. Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. High Priestess reverse. Or this is some lesbian shit. I don't know what the fuck this is. Libra. What the fuck is going on here? Or like I said, I, I don't see no masculine energy out here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles reverse. I told you this bitch is trying to do work on you and it didn't work. It's like they don't know what they're doing. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Like you hoes are weak. But anyway, um, this could be a group of bitches who are trying to gang up together or click up because of some man or maybe they're like grouping up together to go against this masculine energy. I don't know. It's like a group of bitches who want revenge on some man. Could be a Libra man. That's a Queen of Wands reverse. 
And then the Queen of Wands is versus somebody like very ghetto, very hood, city girl shit, very loud and obnoxious. Always wanting to fight or just messy. So, like she's always involved with some drama with her insecure ass. Her Queen of Wands, I mean, she's a hoe, Jezebel spirit. Look at that ace of swords, and that's the truth. Yeah, so you have clarity on these hoes or what these bitches been doing, trying to do work on you and shit. Mm hmm It's like you know the truth. It's like, bitch, like what the fuck you thought you hoes were doing? Like, get them, Libra. <laughs> oh, that's the ace, ace of swords here. It's like Ace of Swords. You're very clear. Like, you can see these bitches. Like, I know what you're doing. I know you hoes are hating. I know you're jealous. I know you're trying to click up. Like, bitch. Fuck y'all hoes. Okay? Period. I don't know if you going to a party or you having drinks with these bitches with the Three of Cups. told you here go this man this whole ass man the knight of swords i feel like these bitches are finding out about each other i feel like there's a whole ass man out here the knight of wands reverse is like community dick and it's a queen of wands out here reverse a queen of cups reverse a high priest is reverse the three of cups in like the knight of wands reverse it's like that's a whole ass man out here it could be a sagittarius i feel like all these bitches are like finding out about each other ace of swords up in the upright Like, I don't know if this man then gave these bitches something. Because the Knight of Wands reverses somebody who can't control themselves. They can't control their anger. They can't control their impulses. They can't control their sexual urges. It's just like they're very reckless. The Knight of Wands reverses like a daredevil. This is somebody who, like, does too much or they do the most. Like, you ever met one of them type of people? Like, say you hanging out at a party or something, Libra, and y'all kicking it, y'all having a good time. And it's always that one motherfucker that just got to push the limit. They always got to take it too far. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, see how many drinks you can take. See how many shots you can drink. You know what I'm saying? And then you go shot for shot with a motherfucker. Everybody drunk as hell. And this one motherfucker got to be like, no, nah, I'm going to win this. I'm going to have the last shot. Da, 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 da. And then they ask, end up going to the hospital or something. It's like somebody right here is, they got an anger problem. They're very volatile. Very inconsistent. I mean, it's a, the, the Knight of Wands is a player type of energy. It's like it's somebody who just plays around. They can't be taken serious. Like, they're very inconsistent. It's like they just fuck you and then disappear. And it's just like... I feel like all these bitches then got played by this Knight of Wands reverse. <laughs> This could be even somebody who's, like, abusive or prone to domestic violence. I, don't, I guess all these bitches are, like, ganging up against this person. Like, I'm kind of the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, look at that. I told you, never reverse. It's like these hoes are cutting them off. These are a bunch of karmic hoes. Or this is all the same bitch. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess reverse. But either way... I feel like the devil reverse here, this man is being cut off. Like, people are cutting ties with this person. With the devil reverse, because I feel like something here got way too fucking toxic. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a, the Knight of Wands and the devil reverse. This could be a, um, a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper. But like I said, if this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, High Priestess reverses all the same person, I feel like she's dating somebody else or she's trying to get back outside with her toxic ass with the Three of Cups. It's like she's trying to start over with somebody else or baby trap somebody else. Yeah, the King of Swords reverse. I told you, so this, could be a, this could be a Libra man, but it doesn't have to be. Whoever this is, a liar, though. King of Swords reverse is somebody who's emotionally detached. They're cold. They're bitter. They're malice. They're irrational. That's why I said somebody here could have a mental health issue. This could be an Aquarius man. Yeah, this is very bitter. This is a very bitter man. 
It's like, he don't give a fuck about shit for real. He don't even give a fuck about himself. King of Swords verse and the Nine of verse. It's like, he don't give a fuck how he make people feel, what he do to people. It's like somebody out here that lost their damn mind. It's like, this is giving me the energy of somebody who, like, fucked their life up so bad. It's like, they don't even care. It's like, they don't give a fuck no more. <sighs> King of Swords reverse. It's like, they're a hoe. But like I said, this could be somebody who did some reckless shit under the influence. It's like, because the Knight of Wands reverse is somebody who can't control themselves. It's reckless behavior, like doing too much, going too far. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, I don't know. I was King of Swords reverse here. This person is a, ooh, this man is a liar. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They could be trying to apologize to somebody. This could be somebody who does something creative. They could be an artist, a writer, um, a painter, or they do something that requires them to be creative. I was a Knight of Cups here. So this is the type of person who likes to come off. It's like they they try they bait you in with this like romantic type of energy. But it's like once you get close, you'll realize that this person is the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords reverse, a narcissist and a hoe. Why does the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person is delusional. It's like they're coming back to try to sell you some dream or they're coming back to try to act chivalrous towards you or apologize towards you to suspend some sort of illusion with the seven of cups the seven of cups can be like a lot of options too so this is somebody who stay talking to bitches online or they always in a bitch inbox you know what i'm saying they got a lot of holes online and shit but somebody very confused it's like they're living in an illusion it's like they're not being realistic about what's going on here this is somebody who's lost the Seven of Cups. It's like they don't know what the fuck they're doing at this point. So this is somebody who's very immature coming out in this night energy. Somebody's like very childish. And I definitely feel like this is somebody who suffers some sort of like childhood abuse. This is why this is what contributes to this person's behavior. It's like they need to go sit the fuck down somewhere and heal. I was the Seven of Cups here. I don't know if you know that about this person or not. Yeah, four of swords. Yeah, I feel like you could be protecting your peace from this person with the four of swords energy here, Libra. I feel like you're just resting, like taking a break. Some of you could even be on vacation. It's like you're taking a break from this person to protect your mental health. And I feel like, I feel like Libra, if you're a mother, I feel like your children is like bringing you comfort at this time with the four swords here. I feel like you just, you're not in a mood. You don't want to be bothered. You want to rest. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person's too much to deal with. Like, I don't know if you found out this person got holes or they had a baby on you or... They cheated on you with some crazy bitch with the high priestess reverse. Where for some of you, this nasty motherfucker could have brought you something back for, from a bitch. Yeah, I feel like Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like you don't feel the same about this person. Your feelings have changed or you're not in love with them or you feel out of love with them. I was a four of swords here. Yeah, this, this feels like four of swords. This feels like downtime. Like, you just want to rest. You don't want to be bothered. You want to protect your peace. You want sleep. I feel like your babies are bringing you comfort right now or your children. Why is the uh, four of swords here? Yeah, nine of cups. This is you, like, fulfilling yourself, being happily single, being on your own with the nine of cups here doing whatever the fuck makes you happy that fills your own cup that's the nine of cups here yeah 
page of pentacles here yeah somebody could definitely somebody's doing like magic on you page of pentacles reverses being obsessed with divination or like i said this person is just childish as fuck or this is your kid page of one i mean page of pentacles here you got an earth sign kid but um I really feel like it's somebody doing magic on you, though. It's like somebody's getting readings done on you. Or they're doing hoodoo, voodoo, or there's something here that they're trying to do. Like, why is the page of pentacles reversed? Yeah, eight of swords reversed. Yeah, but I feel like you're not stuck here. I feel like... Libra, you may have been up in your head about somebody here. Because the Eight of Swords is feeling trapped. It's feeling stuck. It's like not sure or can't. It's like you can't figure something out. But I feel like you got it figured out now, though. Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like you're not in this mental prison anymore. Like you're clear on someone. You're clear on how they are, who they are, what their motives are. I feel like you don't have no reason to be in your head anymore. You figured it out. Because the Ace of Swords did come out in the upright. It's like you know the truth about someone here. Why is the Ace of Swords? I mean, the Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, Five of Swords. I told you somebody here plays too many fucking mind games, man. It's like somebody wants to win at all costs and they're like jealous and envious of you with the five of swords here. Yeah, eight of cups, reverse. Yeah, this person has abandonment issues like... I feel like this is definitely somebody who wasn't ready to settle down. They're not ready for a relationship, period. And I feel like this person, like, they could have abandoned you or left you. Like, this is like an opportunist. Uh, opportunist. It's like they went somewhere where they thought was better or the grass was greener and it didn't work out over there. So now they're trying to return to you. Where they feel like they settled in life. They settled for something that they're not happy with. But it's like they're still trying to win. It's like they ruined their life, but it's like they still trying to get a win out of this. It's like very envious, very jealous energy with the Five of Swords here. A lot of mind games, a lot of trickery. Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Seven of Cups upright. Like, it's this person wants you to believe something that's not true. Yeah, somebody here is stupid. Food Bar Reverse, this could be Aries. Like, somebody here is dumb as fuck. It's like they just don't care. It's like, I feel like this person is just, like, all over the place. They're doing anything and everything. Like, this almost feels like somebody is, like, going insane. It's, like, real destructive behavior. That's Eight of Cups reverse. card yeah it's over here this cycle didn't already closed out on this person that's why they're losing their mind i feel like you've accomplished something you've like you've um you've completed something here with the world card this cycle is closed out this person doesn't have access to you and shit anymore and i feel like they're going crazy because this is a narcissist so i'm like this person can't feed off your energy and shit anymore you close this cycle out you don't even fuck with them and this person's like going crazy they got like a bunch of hoes that's after them doing spell work on them and shit they're out here lying shit they dick could be burning they're lost they're confused they're playing all type of games it's like this person's asking for a fucking death wish the way they out here moving like real shit three of swords here yeah this person is heartbroken yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who's a cheater, a liar, a slob. This is somebody with poor hygiene. They're a user. This is a user, a homosexual, somebody who will try to move in your shit or live off of you and shit. That's the four lines reverse. Yeah, I feel like either you or this person is moving out or something, something going on with someone's stability or you've been arguing with this person. 
Why's the four of wands reverse? Or they've been arguing with some kind of bitch that they with. Why's the four of wands reverse? You could be married to this person for some of you. Yeah, fool cards. Oh, this came out again. Somebody's stupid. So somebody could be living with an Aries out here. Somebody just makes stupid decisions. Yeah, three of pentacles reverse. Something's not work. It didn't work out here. It's like these people can't get along. They can't compromise. It's too difficult. Or it's a third party here. Or the earth sign. Yeah, eight of pentacles reverse. Yeah, something didn't work here. Yeah, the moon card. Yeah, somebody's like their worst fears or their secrets are being exposed. Could be a cancer here with the moon reverse. I feel like a secret somebody thought that they were going to take to their grave or a secret here that somebody tried to bury deep in their subconscious is being exposed. Could be this gay shit. <laughs> Why is the moon card reverse? I feel like this person is unskilled. They could be a scammer or they could be a cancer out here that's a scammer, unemployed. It's like, that's, this could be who they're arguing with. It's like, it's a karmic couple, like. Yeah, eight of wands. It's like rumors. People are talking about these people or gossiping about them. It feels like these people are in the midst of a tower. It's like, this feels like a tower here. It's like they're being exposed or something is blowing up for them right now and not in a good way. It's like the tower didn't hit and everybody is like fucking scrambling. Why is the ace of wands here? I mean, eight of wands here. Yeah, ace of wands reverse. Yeah, you're not interested in this person. You're turning the fuck off. I feel like something is coming towards them. It's a lot of energy being sent back to their ass. Like, look at this. This is like... I'm saying, like, I don't know if you can see that. Would you see that man and that woman right there? Like, this is their house. And then, like, all this energy is being sent to them. I'm, like, I'm telling you, like, something is coming towards them. Like, I don't even know. For some of you, these people's house could be getting shot up. And I said, Ada Wong's here. King of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody emotionally unstable. We got a King of Cups reverse, a King of Swords reverse, somebody here. I told you this is a karmic couple. That Queen of Cups reverse came out and the King of Cups reverse came out. Like, this is a karmic couple. I don't know what the fuck they've been out here doing, but shit is like backfiring on them so bad. Are right, they're both codependent, insecure, jealous, vindictive, spiteful, emotionally unstable. And I feel like they've been out here doing shit that they don't have no business. This man been out here emotionally cheating, physically cheating, getting bitches pregnant. Now he got a bunch of hoes that are like mad at him and shit. And then this this Queen of Cups reverse, she been doing spell work or paying people to do work on you or something here. And like now this bitch is broke as fuck. Eight of Pentacles, or she's a scammer with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and Three of Pentacles reverse. Like, bitch, you don't got a job. All you do is scam people. Like... Because the Eight of Pentacles reverse is somebody who's unskilled. Like, they don't know how to do shit. Because they're always looking for a shortcut. Always looking for an easy way out. An easy way to do some shit. Somebody who's lazy as fuck. There's a karmic couple out here who's... They getting at work. Okay? Period. This shit is fucking their ass up. Yeah, Empress reverse. Yeah, this is a insecure, dusty ass bitch. Like, real shit. The Empress reverse is a dusty bitch. Look at that. As soon as I open the deck, the Emperor reverse. So this is a karmic couple. Emperor reverse to the Empress reverse. King of Cups reverse to the Queen of Cups reverse. I don't know what the fuck these people have been out here doing the motherfuckers, but it's being returned to them. Strength card reverse. Yeah, somebody here is a punk and a coward. The magician reverse. Yeah, somebody is a magician reverse. They're a wizard or a warlock. 
this is somebody who has spiritual gifts, but they lack the confidence to really do anything with them, to really ma manifest anything worth having. So the Magician Reverse is somebody who's like all over the place. They're greedy. They're scattered. This could be somebody, the Magician Reverse is somebody who's cynical when it comes to love. So it's like they did so much fuck shit to people. They're just like, I'm never going to meet love. Nobody's ever going to love me. So I might as well just um, do people how they do me. You know what I'm saying? Like this is that hurt people hurt hurt people mentality you know what i'm saying like so you're gonna play games and do motherfuckers dirty and bend they free will and manipulate and be sneaky and trick people because that's how motherfuckers done you your whole life like somebody here is a loser and a coward and bitch they're a bitch like this is somebody who's so pussy like wow mm -mm. Or hopefully, I mean, the Empress the Empress is in reverse. That's Libra energy, too. So hopefully, you're not the bitch that's married to this man. Because if your ass is, bitch, spirit is on your motherfucking head, too, bitch. So take it as it resonates, okay? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Here's a gold. I mean, all the people are in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Empress reverse. This is a whole like group of low vibrational motherfuckers. Like, is anybody in the fucking upright? Queen of Pentacles reverse is a selfish bitch, a terrible mom. I'm talking about all three of these cards. This is a raggedy hoe. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse, and the Queen of Cups reverse. This bitch is hella insecure. If she got work done, bitch, it's botched. Like, you look a mess. You don't know how to dress. Queen of Pentacles reverse. You don't really take care of yourself. This is like a raggedy stank hoe. And then you got the nerve to be emotionally unstable and all in your feelings and shit. Like, bitch, what's wrong? Like, I don't know what the fuck this is in your reading, Libra. Something here is out of control. Like, real shit. Yeah, this magician reverse came back out. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, the chariot. I feel like you're not even showing up in this reading, Libra. I feel like you you're moving the fuck on. World card in the chariot. You close the cycle out and you're moving the fuck on, moving forward, or you already did. A chariot is like success through hard work and dis discipline. It's like you may not have reached your destination yet, but you know you're going to get there. You're figuring it out as you go. You just know that this shit ain't it. Like wherever you was at, that wasn't it. Yeah, Paige and Wands reverse. Yeah, somebody wants your attention hella bad. Look at you, Queen of Swords. I'm like, yeah, I know that wasn't you. So yeah, but I feel like you could have dated this person, this narcissistic ass man with the King of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're in your car and you're leaving. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Some of you can have a red car. But Queen of Swords, yeah, you're leaving this shit. Or somebody did. Whoever this is in this Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, I feel like this is a married man out here, and he's been he's been cheating the fuck on his wife, boy. He got all holes out here. It's like how you the emperor connected to the to the uh empress reverse, but you the magician reverse also, and you got a side bitch out here, a queen of wands reverse, and a high priestess reverse. I feel like this this person got babies and shit, the secret children and shit, queen of wands. It's another bitch out here, a ghetto loud bitch they was fucking around with. Right, somebody here is so dirty. Like, ooh, why is the chariot reverse? They're a user. That Knight of Pentacles came out. It's somebody who's a user and a bum. They like to use women. They could be a misogynist. They have a secret hate for women. It's like it's like they purposely like break bitches' hearts. Like this is somebody who might be like down low and gay. It's like they have a secret hate for women. So it's just like they intentionally date women mislead them lie to them get them pregnant and then leave them for dead like this is somebody who literally like breaks bitches hearts on purpose because they hate women 
It's like they really hate bitches. I feel like they didn't get to do you like that. I mean, you got the fuck away from this person. You get even seven of swords. You was strategic and calculated with the way you were moving, trying to get away from this person. Or somebody could be spying on you. They're trying to figure out where you're going or where you're at. Cherry with the queen of swords. Like somebody's like spying on you with the seven of swords, trying to figure out where you went, where you headed, where you're going, where you moved to, where you live at now. It's like somebody's all in your business. Yeah, ten of swords versus somebody who did you dirty. They betrayed you. I'm sure they fucking did. <laughs> this is somebody who doesn't like females for real. Yeah, a page of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody out here got hella kids. You got a page of cups, a page of wands, and a page of pentacles. Somebody can have like up to three kids out here. Page of Wands reverse. Somebody's like very childish. They throw attention tantrums. But yeah, look at that. Three of Swords. This person is heartbroken. But like, this is not what the fuck you do just because your heart is broken. Like, what the fuck is wrong with somebody out here with the Three of Swords? Yeah, and the Justice. This is your card. Yeah, so spirit is like, keep doing what you're doing. If you've been like returning to sender this energy that this person has been sending you, keep doing it. The energy is gaining momentum. I feel like there's going to be something big heading their way. Like if you've been doing work or you've been praying or you've been doing return to senders, like spirit is showing me like, like a fireball that's like, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. And this shit is going to be, like, thrown directly at these motherfuckers like a goddamn meteor. Like, that's what they're showing me. Like, oh, wow. Why is the justice here? Yeah, you will get justice in the end. Justice is your card. And it's in the upright. Period, Libra. Because these motherfuckers had you fucked up. I don't know if they were feeding off of your energy here. This karmic ass couple was feeding off your energy, but ever since you closed the cycle out, it's like they've been going crazy, losing their mind because they don't have another supply at all. Yeah, look, the will of fortune, shit is going to turn into your favor and you don't feel bad. Five of Cups reverse, you don't feel sad, you're not heartbroken, you don't feel guilty about what the fuck is getting ready to happen to these people. The tables are definitely turning or they already did. The hangman reverse is definitely a weak ass Pisces out here. Why is the justice here in the Three of Swords? I feel like all these people are heartbroken. Nobody is getting the outcome that they desire. Ooh, my ear is ringing. Yeah, Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, these people are getting left behind. It's like they lost. Like, they feel like failures. Yeah, Nine of Wands, they're pissed the fuck off. These people are triggered. They're bothered, especially this Pisces. Or whoever this man is, he feels stuck or trapped or like shit ain't moving for him. Or like he can't get out of this shit. He's pissed the fuck off. He could be sending you evil eye or he's just irritated. It's like, look at this shit. This person could even have people after him. Yeah, the cops could be looking for this person. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here, Libra. Look. I also paid the cups here, reverse. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's trying to rush in with communication all of a sudden. Like, real shit. They're trying to rush in quick with communication. Seven of Swords, this person is looking for you. They're spying on you. They're trying to figure out. It's like this person has something to say and they want to say it quick. They know something is coming. <laughs> But it's like you're getting the fuck away from this person hella fast. Like you just get in your car and go. Or if you see this person, they show up or pop up at your house, you just get in your car and leave with the chariot and the queen of swords. Yeah, ten of pentacles. This is where you headed to the ten of pentacles, stability, generational wealth. Or it's like you already left this person behind. You already moved. It's like you're in the Ten of Pentacles. You're comfortable. Some of you could have found your person. You're spending time with your family. Or you could be getting married. Or it's something here very solid and stable for you. Hold on, y'all. 
Yeah, this is financial security and stability with the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you're going to be good. These people are going to be suffering. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, these people may need your help or they're looking for charity. They're looking for a handout here with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, judgment. Look at that. Ooh. But like I said, the justice is in the upright. So if this is a legal case, I feel like it's going into your favor. You're getting a payout here. The Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Like judgment. Time's up. It's on some shit. It's time's up on some shit. Whatever these people were doing, they can't do this shit anymore. It's not working. That's why people are going insane. They're losing their minds. Somebody want to talk to you like hella, hella bad. It's like not working. Yeah, and I feel like you're just sitting back watching your money stack up, trying to figure out what you're going to invest in, making new plans. I was a knight of swords here. This could be somebody that ghosted you. Could be Gemini here. I was a swords here. Yeah, Hierophant. Yeah, this is somebody who's non-committal, a cult leader. Or yeah, this is some type of cult here with the Hierophant reverse. All these bitches and these high priests and these dark witches and this toxic ass couple, they're a part of some cult. Like real shit. They signed a deal with the devil. Now they all losing everything. And you're the only one getting away. And you're getting away with the Ten of Pentacles. Because I feel like you, maybe you used to work with these people. Or you tried to work with these people. Or you were a part of this group at some point. But you may have seen something. Or you saw something. You were realizing like how many snakes were a part of this shit. So it's like you took your, your part of whatever this was. And you left. You're just like, yeah, let me just get my money or get this one time payment from this shit and i'm bouncing because i can see i can foresee because the queen of swords here that's somebody who's very intelligent it's like i could foresee this shit crashing and burning the high the high refine reverse this could be a company i don't know this is like where you work at it's like i could see this place going bankrupt or i could see this place closing or shutting down or laying people off so i, I feel like you pulled out in the nick of time like, real shit. Yeah, two of swords is like, you don't care about these people missing you or these people from the past, they miss you all of a sudden. Yeah, five of pentacles in first, but it's because they... It, be mindful of these people, like, coming back with these fake apologies. It's like six of cups with the uh, five of pentacles in first. It's like they're coming back to try to, like, remind you of the past just so you will help them out. Six of pentacles. It's like, remember we used to do this, Libra? Remember that back in the day? Ha ha. Now, can I borrow $500? Like, somebody's on some bullshit out here. Yeah, somebody's like depressed, temperance. They're desperate. This Sagittarius, four of cups. Yeah, it's like they're trying to spin the block on you again after all hell then broke loose. Like, nah, dog. You was not finna spin the block on Libra like this. Yeah, this is somebody who's fake as fuck. They're a con artist with the nine of pentacles. Hella insecure. The nine of pentacles reverse and the knight of pentacles reverse. This is a scammer. It could be an earth sign, a Virgo. Somebody's a scammer and a liar. They're a con man. They are not to be trusted. Like at all. But I feel like you peeped this in this person. Or you seen this shit in these people. So it's like you got the fuck out while you can with what the fuck you could. It's like, let me just get my money and go. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever's in this queen of swords energy. Because I ain't gonna lie, Libra. Like, I feel like you were considering joining this group of people or maybe you did at some point you were a part of this but when you seen how corrupt this shit was you just kind of like nah i'm finna get whatever i came with or or leave with whatever i can leave with and you're just like nah now you're sitting up seven pentacles type shit what's the message you're for Libra? It says trail of trouble gets themselves into trouble or in unlawful activities, compulsive and reactive, does not think about the consequences to their actions. Yeah, somebody here did too much. Trail of trouble, something is following them, or there are some people after this person. It says compulsive liar, fake charmer, 
makes up stories to cover up lies, believes their own lies, manipulative and deceitful and no remorse. So yeah, this person doesn't even feel bad that he be doing people like this. This is a sick bitch. A real shit. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it says stashed away. Keeps personal life separate from other aspects of their life. Does not discuss personal issues with their partner. Very secretive. It says makes conscious decisions to keep partner away from their inner circle. Hesitates in introducing their partner to their family or friends. Yeah, this person be out here playing games. They were in a whole relationship with a karmic bitch. Emperor to the empress. They were married to a karmic bitch. Emperor to the empress. King of cups to the queen of cups. And this person been out here running around, fucking hoes, queen of wands, high priestess reverse, having babies with bitches, like just doing all type of shit. Living a double life. Keeping their this karmic ass marriage away from these karmic ass hoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're living two different lives here. It's like this person keeps a lot of secrets. They're not to be trusted. So it's like these could be bitches like who think they know a lot about this person, but they really don't because this person is a compulsive liar. They're a liar. They don't tell the truth. So it's like you never really know who this person is because they're the magician reverse. They trick you. You know, they shape shift. So you don't really know who the fuck you're dealing with. They're a con. Nine of Pentacles reverse and a magician reverse. This is catching up with somebody. Ooh wee. Yeah, it says guidance. Seeks out readers or spiritual guidance instead of trusting their intuition. Doesn't believe what others say if it go against what they believe. Uses their intuition or follows through based on it. Psychic, able to read people very well. Sometimes second guesses. I don't know. Somebody's like getting readings done here. I'm telling you, this is definitely a karmic couple. King of Pentacles. I mean, not King of Pentacles. Emperor reverse to the Empress reverse. Queen of Cups reverse to the King of Cups reverse. The High Priestess reverse to the Hierophant reverse. I feel like this karmic couple, I feel like they were on top at one point. But it's like they switched to the other side to maintain this life, to maintain some bullshit here. And now the shit is crashing down on their head. It's like, what in the fuck? Yeah, I feel like this part, this whoever this master manipulator is, he tried to trick you at one point. But I feel like you've seen through it with the Queen of Swords here. So it's like you got out like you could because you seen what this person was on or what they were trying to orchestrate. And you just like, nah, bitch, you got me fucked up. All right, it's a karmic couple out here that was in cahoots. A karmic married couple who was in cahoots. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. I feel like they were scamming people. Eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles. I feel like they both were doing it. Like real shit. Or they joined this cult or whatever they did. They sold their souls. And now this shit. Ooh wee. Yeah, it says sheep appears to be stronger than they are. Highs their weaknesses. True colors are revealed when times get tough or when challenged. Just that seven of wands in reverse. The first card that came out. I feel like this person folded on you. Folded on their beliefs. They were not who you thought they were. They didn't do what you thought they did. Like somebody here is a loser. It says follows the crowd. The fitting and breaks, breaks when placed under pressure. Does not stand up to authority. Gives in too easily and weak minded. Yeah. It's like when you, when, I feel like when you caught on to the, what this person was doing, Queen of Swords, they ghosted you. Yeah, it says pitiful. Tries to make partner feel guilty by either crying or guilt tripping them for doing something they wanted to do instead. Petty ignores their partner if they feel slighted. Or give or not giving enough attention or time tries to punish partner for having their own life. So this could be what this person tried to do to you because they seen you were smart and ambitious and you wanted to go after your dreams and shit. So they tried to play in your face. Or they tried to break you down by ghosting you or something. Yeah, it says dead inside, suddenly apathetic and bored, wanting different things, not being oneself, not making much progress. Moving forward, rising conflicts and disagreements, lack of trust and honesty going nowhere. Yeah, so this person will always be like this. They're not going to change. This is who they are. This is somebody who's dead inside. It's like they don't give a fuck no more. Full car reverse. 
yeah, zombie returns to someone's life months or years, months or years after original ghosting or tries to reestablish a connection, pretends to be a new person. Submarine resurfaces out of nowhere, finds their way back without an apology or explanation, tries to reconnect out of boredom or recent breakup. Family ties, disapproves of new current partner, causes conflict and accuses new person of being unsafe around children, trust issues. I feel like this is this bitch too. I feel like they're one in the same. Like this emperor reverse and this empress reverse, they, they both dead inside. They manipulate and shape shift and scam and con so fucking much. It's like now they're only left with each other and it's like nothing that they can do. People don't fuck with them. Ooh, I, this person gives me a, like a nasty, sick vibe. But anyway, look. Libra, this has been your reading. Hopefully it resonates. And please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I will holler at you later. Peace.